Welcome back to my channel. I am your host, the most famous YouTuber in the world that no one has ever heard of. Now we're working with the, uh, for those that don't know, we're working with the Prover Genmitsu Prover 4030 that's been expanded to the Genmitsu 6060 bed. And this here is the controller. It's been featured in other videos. Today we are going to automate the router with this. Give you a clear shot. As you can see, I've cleaned off my work area. I have this power strip unplugged. And I've decided to put this right about there, I think, out of the way. And uh, I'm going to be cutting into the 110 volt line. So I want to make sure that I don't accidentally bump these. So I think we're going to stick them right back there. Got to figure out how much wire we need. Thinking, get somewhere in here. Get somewhere in here, right here. It'll give us enough, and we can loop it around backwards or forwards. We're gonna skin. Now, for those that don't know, to get a good connection, you can crimp them. I crimp these on, but I'm gonna solder them too because we're dealing with a fair amount of amperage here. That. Uh, router is one and a half horse. Now you can use this method, which I'm starting to regret choice, or I'm opting for plan B. Okay. Ran into a snag. There we go. Safety third. And we've got input and we've got output. Now we want to switch the output because the output is the 120 volts AC. The input is only 4 to 32 volts DC. So we're going to stick these on here like that. Good, stay still. And like that. Now that side is done. Now we're gonna do the input side. On the side of the controller, I'm gonna zoom you in here. There is your spindle on and off or your laser on and off. Now I've left the wires when I upgraded the router I left the wires in case I ever want to use the laser feature on this. So I need to leave these wires in here but I also need to connect it to this and to do that I grabbed a piece of scrap two conductor Okay, uh, fire alarm techs, burglar alarm techs, use this stuff. And it's, uh, they call it Tucon. I think it's 24 gauge. So we're going to use these to power this. Because there's no amperage, it's just a relay. It's just a small coil in there. There should be minimal amperage involved so we'll use this tiny wire and we have to get it on the plug and to get it on the plug we've got this weird three-piece thing going on here this is soldered on so we're gonna have to solder these wires onto here and then we'll use the terminals to put them onto here now I can't use the blowtorch on this for obvious, obvious reasons, it's plastic. 
So I'm going to solder these on with a soldering iron and then we'll continue. don't have a voltmeter, it should be DC. I suggest you get one. If you're going to play with any of this stuff, you really need one. I've got my, my lines hooked up. I'm turning this on. Well, it's going to be hard to see, but what I'm going to do is turn the spindle on with the override button. Okay, the spindle is now on. Now, we're going to come back down to the voltmeter. And I'm going to turn, I'm turning this knob here. Turn that knob up until we get some sort of a reading. Now this says 4 to 32 volts DC, so we're going to turn it up until we get somewhere in that range. And it 10 seems good. 7's alright. The mark on the knob is pointing directly at me, so that's a good way to remember it, I guess. That's 8 volts DC, so our soldering job worked on both ends, and we have enough voltage to trip the relay. So let's turn that off, the override off. Now we've got nothing. So we're good. We're good to go. So I'm, go I'm going to put all this stuff back in its place. I think I'm actually going to move these screws over a little bit, because I want more room. I want to move this shield over. My plan is to build a box for the mill at some point, so I you know, might as well do it now, right? Let me take care of that, and through the magic television, it will be done in two seconds. And it works. 